grant your chantathon. For the sake of your name, O Lord, give me life. Sisters, we offer the sacrifice of the Eucharist for Mary Bastion, the intention of this Mass. And we also offer this Eucharist for all unborn children, for all those who have been killed through violence. We pray especially on this day of penitence for the end of legal abortion in the United States. And now, gathering in God's presence, let us call to mind our sins so that we may worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Creator, we give thanks to you, who alone have the power to impart the breath of life, as you form each of us in our mother's womb. Grant, we pray, that we whom you have made stewards of creation may remain faithful to this sacred trust, and constant in safeguarding the dignity of every human life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, now our high priest has obtained so much more excellent a ministry as he is mediator of a better covenant and acted on better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, no place would have been sought for a second one. But he finds fault with them and says, Behold, days are coming, says the Lord, when I will conclude a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand and led them forth from the land of Egypt, for they did not stand by my covenant. And I ignored them, says the Lord. But this is the covenant I will establish with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds and I will write them upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall not teach each one his fellow citizens and kin, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. For I will forgive their evil doings, and remember their sins no more. When he speaks of a new covenant, he declares the first one obsolete. And what has become obsolete, and has grown old, is close to disappearing. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness and truth shall meet. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. Near indeed is salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Ale 
God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went up the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Boragus that is, son of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 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 the Lord. Today, Jesus calls by name those who are destined to be consecrated as the Twelve Apostles. And it is fitting that we have this Gospel on a day in which we commemorate all human life and pray for the protection of all human life from conception until natural death. Because the Lord calls us by name, even from the womb, He calls us to an intimate relationship with him. Psalm 139 is a beautiful expression of this. And so I propose for our reflection today at some point to meditate upon that psalm. But if we focus on this theme on how the Lord calls each of us by name, that means that he has a specific role for us to play in his kingdom. But the role that we all pray, we all play today as the royal priesthood of Christ is to make intercession for our nation and for the world. That all may be protected from violence, especially those in the womb. And so being that Christ is our high priest, being that as the letter to the Hebrews said today, he has written his law upon our hearts, Let us draw near to the altar and firstly give thanks for the gift of our life, for the stewardship that we have, as the opening prayer mentioned. And secondly, let us make intercession as the royal priesthood for all those affected by violence, particularly the unborn, and also for all those who are involved in these situations that lead, that lead to these acts of violence. So to our Jesus, our High Priest, who is ever interceding before the Father on our behalf, and whose great priesthood we are caught up into, to Him be the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, for a generous response to the Lord's calls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern, may the Lord grant them wisdom and a moral heart in their work to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who live in situations where they are oppressed, intimidated, or scared, may God's grace and courage fill their hearts and give them strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, may we, through the Lord's grace and providence, grow in the virtues of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For our beloved dead, especially Mary Bastian, the intention of this Mass, that they who have gone before us with the sign of faith, that they will enter into the fullness of life in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father in heaven, you have created us in your image and made us stewards of creation. May we be a responsible steward of the breath of life you have given to all your creatures. And may we lead all back to your kingdom of justice and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, food of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Lord. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable before God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our humble offerings, O Lord of the living, and unite us to the perfect sacrifice of your Son, through whom you have made all creation new, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
taking us all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom of power, power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace. I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with the reign of your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but Lord, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. act of communion for those unable to receive. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from
When us past our lips us put, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Increase your love within us, Lord God, by the saving mysteries we have celebrated, and bring people everywhere to respect your gift of human life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God give you give the humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell of Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world. Seeking the ruin of all souls. <laughs> Eucharistic adoration will go until 3 p.m. today, and then we will have a psalm holy hour in reparation for the, um, the offenses and the evils against the dignity of human life, and also, as I mentioned earlier during Mass, for the Prayer for the End of Legal Abortion in the United States. Most sacrament, most holy, most sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving. 